This is a biometric time and attendance terminal, which also doubles as an access control verification terminal. This device is equipped with various data capture and verification technologies, such as a fingerprint scanner to capture and verify the fingerprint details of persons to be enrolled and verified through this machine. Through the space comes an RFID card scanner, which captures and also verifies RFID cards to be assigned to persons for attendance and access control verification for each card holder. This 2.8 inches screen displays every activity within this device, including acting as an output display of an embedded camera in this machine. Here is the camera. It facilitates facial data collection and verification. It both captures eyeball details and also a general facial picture. These are infrared lights. They are strategically positioned on this device to provide illumination in order to improve visibility of faces of persons to be enrolled and also verified through the system, even in very poorly lit environments. A keypad is also provided on this equipment for data inputs and programming. It gives access to the various menus on this device to customize the device, enroll new users, and many other features that can be performed using these keypads. This is a USB port, which acts as an interface through which time and attendance reports can be collected from this unit, especially when this device is used as a stand-alone machine for time and attendance and access control. Whilst this device can work perfectly as a standalone unit, it can as well be connected to a network through this port to facilitate the management and assessment of data from this device from a PC using a management software which is capable of managing more than one of these devices, even from a remote location. These other ports are meant for the connection of access control devices, such as magnetic locks or mortise locks, push buttons and other accessories. Join me in the next video as we practically look at how to wire up these ports in setting up an access control system. In that video, we will look at how to connect a magnetic lock and a push button to this device, where this device will act as the access control verification terminal. It's been a pleasure coming your way again. If this is your first time visiting this channel, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thank you.